the next piece is called Honeycomb and Backstreets. Um, when my sisters and I, um, we moved to England when we were quite young. I was about four. My older sister was six and the other one was eight. And we moved from Zimbabwe. And when we first moved, we used to live up in Hales. Um, it was so different. It was so, so different from Zimbabwe. Um, we used to play a lot in like the back streets. I remember once this kid brought in like a whole bag of like crunchy nut. And he was like, yeah. So that's what we used to do basically, just eat crap in the back street. <laughs> <laughs> so this is called Honeycomb in Back Streets. We ate honeycomb from the Morrison's plastic bag in the back street of the cell's terrace. We sat in Erin's mum's old floral settee that the council had forgotten to collect, crouched behind walls and lit discarded cigarettes and pretended we had street cred. Three Zimbabwean sisters, two Pakistani brothers and one English girl. Yeah. This was 1995. The air smelt of cumin and coriander, and we called mum, mummy, and dad the old man. We packed our childhood into those terrace houses. We were 90s cartoon classics Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Danger Mouse, DuckTales, Goof Troop, Pinky, and the Brain Animaniacs, and Cow and Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> we stuck black and white take that posters <coughs> on our walls. Sang back for good lyrics into Afro pics. Learned Backstreet Boys dance moves from VHS, VHS tapes. I still remember the old man singing jazz in the study. We built forts in the attic from turned up mattresses and, t and tested home alone traps on our cousins. We got the belt for giving Barbie chicken pox with a red marker pen and for flinging the TV remote down the stairs in a fight. And I never forgave you for telling after we'd all eaten the crunchy I'd stolen from Morrison's. <laughs> We never thought we'd exist past this time, and if we ever left the street, we'd walk down to Shakespeare Primary School, cutting through Hare Hill Cemetery. You'd both run off in hand, calling for the dead to catch me, and remember when the kids would ask what Africa was like. Lions in our backyards and shoes on our feet. We didn't have pigtails, just short, cropped afros that confused them. After school on Fridays, Mum would buy 10p beef burgers from B. Nads, butchers, and it all seems so long ago now when we started catching two buses to get to school. Getting off the 50 by Greg's on East Gating, yes, you never let me forget crying every morning for a sausage roll until the ladies at the counter knew me by name. I don't ever felt the same. We missed that back street, those friends and that sand, and remember how quiet it all seemed then. Thank you. Yeah.